there's something infuriating too about the crackdown that um lately you know lawyers and and representatives and pr people and crisis managers for purdue and the sacklers and they're trying they're out there trying to push this narrative to journalists and the media right now that it's not their fault that kids end up using heroin and how ridiculous that is and that they only make up a certain percentage of the market share but they never seem to reckon with the fact that the kids would never be doing heroin if it weren't for them in the first place as the middleman. I mean, they just never sort of explain how they think a bunch of kids end up using heroin in 11th grade. That just doesn't happen. They don't just pick up the bag and start with that. No, they believed that they had solved the problem of human pain. Right. That that they had found a way to do this, which would not be addictive. That's the whole key of OxyContin. The whole argument was, this isn't like heroin. We can. We, this isn't because we can release it over a long period of time. We don't get people having a big high. Uh, of course, what they, of course, they, but before they tweak the composition of it, and they have, a, and they, and you could crush it. It could be way, way better. I mean, that was a, and their abil- their constant efforts to avoid responsibility or to really take seriously the damage that they were doing is is damning. It's, I, I mean, it, it renders them among the least ethical Absolutely. Uh, behaviors in American <laughs> yeah. capitalism I've ever come across. But, I, but again, it's important. They didn't set out to do that. They really were enthusiastic. There was this, if you remember, there was this huge campaign that you don't have to feel pain anymore. In fact, if you're feeling pain, your doctor's doing something wrong. And uh, this, was, this was a huge movement within the health industry and within the whole notion that we can, we can and, and the truth is also done properly with limits, they have been incredibly helpful to people. And that's why I, I think in their right context with short dosages that get you through a difficult operation or, or, or some difficult pain, I don't, I'm not against these things in principle. Right. Um, but it was done with such recklessness, and it was also done out of a, a missionary zeal that somehow, uh, like all these crazy things that go wrong, it was it was done with the best of intentions. Right. There's a uh, you know the response to this piece I wrote in the Times has just been absolutely overwhelming. I've I've been receiving messages just on all different platforms of people really 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 sad stories and as tell I, me tell me about some of it well i've had um you know i've had a lot of people my age uh some kid just messaged me on instagram and said he's been to six funerals in two years of all his friends and that he's barely holding on to sobriety himself and i had this girl that i used to party with in high school read the piece and apparently she posted on her facebook that um she it made her realize that she is just seconds away from relapsing and that she doesn't want to end up just being another high school reunion over a coffin. And so there have been a lot of really, really emotional, powerful messages about it. But uh, as I've parsed the comments, I did notice one thread emerge, uh, which hits on what you just mentioned, which there were some people that were saying they're they suffer genuine pain from chronic illnesses and that it's become harder for them to get the drugs because of this stuff, which is one sort of perverse side effect of the whole crisis that I had never even considered before and I don't know much about. But No, it's a real problem. The, it sounds the, horrible, the people yeah. People genuinely seeking this and needing this stuff for severe pain. I mean, he, uh, my mom, for example, she's 85 and she she's lost most of the cartilage in the bottom of her spine and she has one of these fentanyl Oh, a patch. patch. Yeah. That saves her life, yeah. even though we caught her with like two on once. And <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't that she was trying to get high; it was that she was a little clumsy about it and forgot she already had one on and sure, then another one sure. on. <laughs> Keep an eye on her. <laughs> I know she's going to dip out any yeah. any day now. 